Jack Tool is a high-tech engineering technology and prototype manufacturing company. It's a great thing to be able to speak to our customers about an upcoming project and tell them that we'll run the mold flow analysis on it rather than needing to offload it to an engineering services provider that's going to charge us through the nose. A customer will come to us with a part they'd like to convert from a machined part to a molded part or create a new design as a molded part and the Mold Flow software enables us to guide us in determining what is possible and what is not. Customers are coming to us with prototypes and projects for development that are pushing the boundaries of maturity of materials and processes and, um, and, and even costs, you know, how to keep costs down. So we have here our um, pyrotechnic test fixture. The fixture launches a substance down this tube to help validate ballistic hardware in a laboratory environment. It was important that um, besides that the packaging be lightweight, it needed to also have the volume maximized for certain amounts of the substance that we're launching. Wall thicknesses on these components are very thin and there's some big cross-sectional changes. This long version, the wall thickness really approached the rule of thumb limits of what's mature. The standard guidelines indicated it would not be possible to mold, but by leveraging the mold flow software, we were able to determine that it would require some pressure to get filled, but that it would fill. You can see at the end of the filling simulation how thin the cross-section is. One of the neat things about the Autodesk Mold Flow Insight software is that we can set up time steps to get a more detailed look at areas of the fill that we're interested in. We were really concerned about what was happening at the beginning here as we were seeing some air entrapment. So we were able to really hone in on what the simulation was doing right at the beginning of fill and let it coarsen up the time steps as it moved through the filling process. The temperature plot that we're looking at lets us confirm the software prediction that it will fill. The client was happy. They, they took delivery of a, of a new system within budget, taking test shots and gathering data. Ultimately, we, we've got good parts without much hassle of having to groom the mold. Before, we were primarily providing engineering services in manufacturing, where the manufacturing was primarily chip generation. Now we're able to provide molded parts in addition to chip-generated machined parts. The mold flow software enabled us to overcome the barrier to entry. The typical molding house that we would meet um, would make it seem like there was black magic and that it was a very challenging thing that we couldn't do. And the software enabled us to overcome that. The future of making things is simulating them before you make them so you know that it's going to work. Customers are really interested to see what we're doing here and it helps them for the future when they design new injection molded parts. Moldflow is another tool in our toolbox that we can use to solve our customers' problems.